Ray Weigel here, and hey, I, I I started driving around the other day, and I was looking for a business, and I couldn't quite figure out where they were. I didn't have an address, knew they were in the general vicinity, and you know, like a guy, I didn't ask for directions beforehand. So I started trying to figure out where they were, and when I went to look, of course, the only thing I had to look on was this was a cell phone, right? And I started to, to look it up, and I had pulled over to the side of the road, for those of you who are, you know, kind of concerned for my safety and everything, <laughs> pulled over to the side of the road, and found the business, and I started looking for the address on their website, When I couldn't find the address, but they did have a phone number. Well, then I started that little dance, you know the dance I'm talking about, Okay, the phone number is 222, 2222, you know, whatever it was. And then I'd have to go back and try to get to the phone part of the, the phone dial part of the phone. And then enter in the phone number and call them to ask where they were. And of course, you know, memory not being what it used to be all those years ago. We did that little dance back and forth, back and forth. And it made me realize that... You know, why isn't their stupid phone number clickable? Why can't I just click on it and make it dial? You know what I mean? That way I don't have to remember the phone number. And as much as it disgusts me to say, it made me realize how much we've become dependent on our contact books and everything else. And, you know, I mean, that includes family phone numbers and everything else. Now, if this is happening to me, how many of you in your businesses have that same issue. How many of you on your website right now, if I went to it, if I looked it up on the internet, which by the way, most businesses are searched via a cell phone or some type of device, iPad device, something like that, when they're out in the field because that's when they need the help. That's when they need the service or they realize they didn't take the stupid address like I did. So you got all that stuff going. Is your telephone number clickable? So I said, all right, how do you fix this? How do you make a telephone number clickable? And it was so silly, stupid, simple, I couldn't even believe it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how to do it right now. And uh, I'll take you over to the video. You can look over my shoulder. It's so simple. But anyway, thought you'd want to know, just ask yourself, how much business have you been losing? How, you know, you small business owners, how much business have you guys been losing? Simply because somebody kept going back and forth, back and forth, and they couldn't remember your phone number. And remember, guys, for those of you who have those vanity phone numbers, you know, the 1-800 or 281-7355-CELL or, or CELL NOW or whatever, I want you to remember something. Not all the del uh, cell phone dial pads are the same anymore, Okay. As I have seen, some of those dial pads are actually different. So when you type in sell now, that doesn't mean it's going to line up with what's on somebody's dial pad. Think about that, guys. Modern technology is changing and changing fast and everything else. So vanity numbers are still great for the majority of the phone. They're easy to remember, especially if they're not going to call you right now. I'm not taking away from that. But you owe it to your business to also have in or easily findable your cell phone number or your contact number, whatever your contact number is, for your business on every web page that you have. If you are a low if you have some types of brick and mortar store, you owe it to yourself if you rely on those calls coming in. Real estate investors, real estate agents, you you know guys you guys rely on those leads to be generated and to respond quickly, obviously. So on your website, make it clickable. And I'm going to show you how right now. Hold on just a second. Let's get on to the computer screen. Talk to you. All right, guys. So we're back and we're over here at uh, my blog, The Best Marketing Practices. So this blog is not a bricks and mortar blog, nor is it a, a company blog that uh, require somebody to answer all the phone, like a small business owner, a real estate agent, a real estate investor, um, somebody who's a, a doctor's office, a eye, eye doctor's office, um, you know, things like that. 
and you know where where those phone calls and setting the appointments and getting to the customer right away is so vitally important so but with that I still want to be able to give my clients my customers a way to reach me and contact me now the reason I'm saying that is because if I were any of the other practices that we talked about I would want my contact information on every page so that whatever page they came to if they knew immediately they wanted to contact me or call me all they had to do was see the phone number and click in my case again that's not so important for you it may be vitally important all right so down here I have my contact page and, and when you click on it this is what pops up and again here's the phone number right here if I was on a cell phone at this time I would be able to show you that it would actually click and you'd be able to dial it if I if I were looking for my phone on on the internet now some phones do this automatically but not all phones now here's one other quick little tip for you to take into consideration with some of the recent changes that have been happening lately with the with cell phone technology not all the time with the phones anymore it does a vanity number work so in other words if you have a phone number that's you know uh, 281 cell now or something like that that cell now doesn't necessarily match up on the keyboard anymore so it is always very smart to have your entire phone number typed out the correct way so how do you do that well it's real simple actually it's it's brain dead simple to be honest with you you uh, all you need is a simple little editing tool I use composer I'm sure that if you're doing this yourself you probably have some tool that you like as well and what you do is you make your contact page however you're gonna make it I'm gonna keep this real simple I'm not gonna go into any uh, lengthy degree I'm gonna center this right now now one thing I might do in for future deals is I might bold that a little bit more okay so that it's very 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 visible uh, if I wanted to and they are already clickable but if I wanted to make this clickable I just type that in there and click it is an email address that way the email will pop up if I want to make this a hyperlink to my support website uh, again, I would put the full HTTP, the full URL in there, okay? And there's my phone number. Now, how do I make that phone number clickable? Well, it's real simple. You're going to go to your source page, and you're going to pull this code, okay? And this code is real simple. You're going to basically bracket in, and you're going to reference to TEL and then the colon there. Boom. That's all it is. And I'll write this down or, or put this on the blog post. You can actually switch it out all that you want with your phone numbers and stuff. Um, and that way, it'll work for you as well. So all you do is go here where the phone number is, click on that, you enter in that code, and boom, it is now clickable. Okay? And on small phones with small screens, if you bold it and make it appear, the image appear bigger it'll make it that much easier for them to just push the phone screen and there's your phone number ready to dial up because I mean you know think about it guys I can't tell you the number of times I've tried to remember a phone number and gone back and forth back and forth you know and then finally just stopped and wrote the stupid phone number down with technology today you will upset a customer if that's what you're making them do if you're making them jump through hoops so don't do that now you can do the same thing on on your blog it's real simple um, on, on a blog page if I'm gonna go here to the dashboard and I'm gonna go to create a new post and again you're just gonna do a test post and again I what I do is I go to the HTML side and I enter the code so if you have a blog post or if you have a page, again, a contact page or what have you, it's real simple to make that clickable. That's the code for it. You can bold it, all right? And you can, um, you can increase the font all that you want so that it's very visible there. 
And again, I'll write out the code for you, but it's real simple. Guys, do this for your blogs. If you rely adamantly on, on business, on your cell phone, on, on business calls, people being able to reach you and contact you and find you, then you owe it to yourself to have your phone number on every single page. Okay, whatever that page happens to be. Again, on, the, on this site, it's not a bricks and mortar. It's not that vital for, for people to reach me on, on all the time. Now, look, if you're still confused over this, here's the, here's the main lesson I really, really want you to get. Give this video to your virtual assistant or somebody off of Fiverr or whatever and have them do it for you. Your time is worth much more than $5 an hour, okay? I mean, think about that. You pay somebody $5 an hour and it's done all over through your site. And, and, and you can concentrate on the most important thing that you should be doing. That is getting more clients. Pretty simple, right, guys? Pretty simple. There's two articles here. Uh, one is how to overcome anything that is keeping you from making money on the website at bestmarketingpractices.com. And then the second one is how to outsource any project in four easy steps. I'd offer up, take a couple of views of those, read them, and implement them. All right, guys. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.